Hello everyone, my name is Azatro, how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 news video of mine. And in this video, I have some really exciting news to share with you. So today, it was announced that there will be a second chance to unlock the Hoth skin for Han. Plus, we're getting ever so closer to an announcement for the next content update in Star Wars Battlefront 2. I have all the details all of the drama that's been going off on Twitter and Reddit today in the video in just a moment. But I just want to also mention that later on in the video, I will be giving you all of the details about Battlefront 2004 and Battlefront 2 2005. Yes, the original games coming backwards compatible on the Xbox One. And there's some really awesome stuff in the works that not many people have picked up on, including the fact there is extra content compared to the PlayStation and PC version of the game for Battlefront 2. So all of those details are coming later in the video. But first, let's talk about the current Battlefront 2. Ben, the community manager, posted on the forums today saying, Incoming transmission. Last week, we offered players a second chance to earn a Hoth Leah skin appearance. And many of you also requested you got a second chance to unlock the Han Solo appearance because you were busy off celebrating the Easter weekend. Now, just going to pause here. Last week when I did make a video saying Leah's Hoth skin is back, there was a lot of people saying that's great. I didn't have it, but there was also a lot of people that did not get their hand skin from the previous weeks. So now is your time. You can do this. Starting tomorrow, April 12th, you'll have one last chance to earn it for free. Based on feedback, they're changing up the challenge requirements as well with the removal of Starfighter Assault. The challenges to earn Hans Hoff skin this weekend are as follows. Earn 25,000 battle points defeat 10 enemies whilst in a vehicle, and defeat 10 enemies in Galactic Assault. So that's super easy and super doable over the course of the weekend. If you have yet to get this skin, now is your chance. A few people have been asking Ben, the community manager, but I didn't get the Luke skin, so how will I get it? Are the challenges coming back? He said there doesn't seem to be a possibility the challenges will be coming back. However... You will be able to earn all three Hoff skins, if you haven't already, individually with credits when the new update releases. So you will have to use credits to unlock these skins, but if you cannot get these skins for whatever reason, if you missed the last one to get the Leah skin, if you are away this weekend for the Hand skin, and if you missed the Luke skin in the past, you can use credits in the upcoming update. Speaking of the upcoming update, he followed on by saying continue transmission, scrambled, static, later this week. So unfortunately, we was due an announcement for the upcoming update, but something came up out of DICE and EA's hands and they could not make an announcement. Ben confirmed on Reddit that the release date has not changed, which seems to be Wednesday. It's speculated that it's going to be dropping next Wednesday but the announcement date has been pushed back more than 24 hours. With him saying late in capitals in his tweet, I am going to assume Friday is when they're going to announce it. I can't see them announcing it at the weekend, personally, because it's not something they typically do. Game updates, they just do not release on weekends. But Friday kind of makes sense, given weekends just aren't made for announcements usually it's a tuesday updates release on tuesday or wednesday and then we have an announcement on friday and we have had announcements on friday so i'd assume it's not coming tomorrow but things could change of course i will make a video if the news does come tomorrow and same goes for friday as soon as we know what's coming with this customization update i'll make a video but it seems like it's coming out next week now moving on to the exciting backwards compatible news. So yesterday, Xbox held a live stream where they showed off a bunch of new games that are coming backwards compatible to the Xbox One from the original Xbox that released in 2001. Now Battlefront and Battlefront 2 were both released in 2004 and 2005 on that console, but they were never re-released for the Xbox One 
until now. It was backwards compatible on the 360, but who plays the 360 these days? I actually made a video in June last year saying that Xbox have announced backwards compatibility for the original Xbox, and we could potentially see in the future Battlefront to re-release as a backwards compatible title. I just didn't think it was going to happen in 2017 given Battlefront 2 was releasing in November and the feature released, I think it was in September, October of the year. I felt it would come in 2018. Well, lo and behold, we're here in 2018 and less than a year after its announcement, Battlefront and Battlefront 2, the original games, are coming backwards compatible to the Xbox One on April 26th. That means if you own the disc or the digital download, you can download and play the game straight to your Xbox One in much better quality graphics. We actually got a comparison on the live stream last night showing gameplay from the original Xbox to the Xbox One X, and it looks incredible. There's a huge night and day difference. Not only is it widescreen, but the overall quality and resolution is bumped up to the max. It's incredible. So if you are yet to get your Battlefront and Battlefront 2 copies, be quick because the cost is super high. You can actually get Battlefront 2 from EA and DICE digitally for cheaper because it's not rare. Whereas the rarity of the original games bumped the price up to in excess of 25 to 30 to 40 pounds and dollars. It's ridiculous. So if you are planning on getting this game for the Xbox One, I'd urge you to do it as soon as possible because the prices are just going to get higher. The Battlefront games were not the only Star Wars games coming backwards compatible on April 26. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, as well as Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, Jedi Starfighter and Republic Commando are coming back. So you'll be able to play those in better quality, better performance on your Xbox One from April 26. Now, something more interesting about the Xbox version of this game is the fact they did do DLC for the Xbox version compared to the PlayStation 2 and the PC version. It just did not have it. They only released it on the Xbox edition. So, here is what we'll be getting in the backwards compatible title because it purely was a patch. And that also takes me on to another point. There is no multiplayer for this game. The servers were shut down in 2010 for the original Xbox. So sadly, you cannot play multiplayer except split screen. So on December 19th, 2005, LucasArts released a new downloadable level for Battlefront 2 on Xbox Live. The upgrade adds a hero assault mode to Kashyyyk, which was only available on Mos Eisley for all the other editions of the game. Then a month later, on January 31st, 2006, two new hero characters, Kit Fisto and Azai Ventress, as well as four maps from the original Battlefront, which includes Yavin 4 Arena, Bespin Cloud City, Renvar Harbour and Renvar Citadel, as well as Conquest being on there, Capture the Flag, Hero Assault, all on there. They were all added to the game for a free patch, which is pretty incredible. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be in the backwards compatible title, given it's just the patch that was last released for Battlefront 2 back in 2006. Renvar Harbour actually had a hunt mode as well, which allowed Wampers to be the native species, which was pretty cool. Also, Hero Assault was added to Coruscant, Maigito, and Naboo, so it was added to a total of five maps once this patch was released. So this has been a huge announcement day without actually any major Battlefront 2 news, which is kind of crazy, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below your thoughts. I know there's going to be a lot of people talking about in the comment section the backwards compatible stuff. Let me know if you've got the game still or if you're going to go out and buy it. It's super expensive, so I probably won't be buying it, to be honest. It's just not worth it, considering I have it on my PC and I only pay £3 for it. But nevertheless, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. And of course, check out any of the two previous videos on screen if you did miss them. If you are new around here, subscribe and turn notifications on. And I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.